Now when you record with Riverside, you get AI powered transcriptions in over 100 languages, plus you can edit your content in multiple formats by using our text-based editor. Knowing that you can edit via text and even search your transcription for words or phrases, here's some strategies to use while you record with Riverside to make it even faster editing once you're done. I'm gonna to go to one of my Riverside studios and click View Recordings. Here I have a Transcription Strategies recording and I'll click that. Here you'll see the transcription preview right here on the recordings page. Of course, I can always download the high quality video and audio files right here, but I'm gonna jump into the editor. I'll do the full 16 by nine version. And even if you're recording just solo talking head content, recording in Riverside means you'll be able to edit your own content using the transcription editor super fast. Now when you record with Riverside, you can of course add markers live while you record and you'll be able to see those markers here in the editor. You'll see this little purple dot here. I added one marker during the recording and I can jump to that point in the transcription or the timeline. But I actually find I prefer to say things that will be keywords that I can search for in the transcript later. For example, maybe while you recorded with an interview guest, they asked you to cut something out in the final edit. If they said the words or you can reiterate, we'll cut that out. I'll click the search box in the upper right hand corner and let's search for cut it out. And now I actually have two instances of us saying that word. I can say cut it out of the recording and I can use the arrows to navigate to the next part where I say cut it out. Now I see this section of the recording that I wanna cut out completely. I can just select the text and then click delete. And now that is totally gone from the recording. And you'll see it grayed out here in the timeline so you know it won't be included when you export. So having a phrase you consistently use like cut it out or we'll cut this out, you can search for it easily in the editor. If you're recording a podcast with Riverside, maybe you'd like to add fun or catchy titles that pull from the actual episode. Maybe you said a word or a phrase and you really wanna to remember to use that as the episode title. Rather than have to listen back to the entire episode, say something during the recording like episode title or that's the title, and then you can search for it here in the transcription. Here in the search box, I'll just type episode title, again, using the arrows to navigate, and I can see all the episode title ideas we had for this podcast episode. Another good strategy is if you're recording bonus or subscriber content for your podcast or other video content, meaning you have a free version of the episode or the show, and then you have content that's just available to paid subscribers, a lot of time it's easier to record all at once. You record your full public episode plus your bonus content with your co-host or guests, and then you can separate it later. When I record podcasts like that, I say things like bonus content or full episode so then I can search in the transcription and find the exact point where the episode starts, export that clip, or the bonus content. For instance, here in the editor, I'm gonna search for full episode and I can see this is exactly where I said full episode and it's going to start now. And because I can see the markers down here in the timeline, I can drag the end point for this entire clip to where I said full episode. I can drag the out point and see the transcription live update as I'm moving it. And now I know this segment when I export is the full episode. When I'm ready, I can click export in the upper right hand corner, export up to 4K video and export this file and then upload that to YouTube for my video podcast. In the same way, maybe I'll search for bonus content here in the editor. And now I know exactly where the bonus content starts. I can again drag the end point, drag the out point so I know where the bonus content begins and ends. And now I'm ready to export that video as well. Another feature of the Riverside editor is being able to export vertical clips that you can share on TikTok Reels and YouTube Shorts. Here in the editor, I can click full. I can choose between square aspect ratio, 16 by nine, which is full widescreen for YouTube, or nine by 16, which is like for Reels, TikTok, and Shorts. Now that I have this format that I'm ready to share on social media, I can search my transcription for let's share that. Because I know I wanted to share this exact moment of the recording on social media, I said let's share this clip and I can search the transcription for those exact words, share this. Now I can drag the in point and out point so it's exactly a minute long clip to share on those different social media platforms. And I can export this vertical video and it's ready to go. Well, that's a great strategy for finding those engaging moments of your recording later. Using the markers is also really convenient because Riverside will actually create automatic 30 second clips around any marker you set during the recording. This clip was automatically generated based on that marker. I didn't have to do anything. This was already here once the episode finished processing. Now, if I jump in to click edit this clip, you'll see the marker here and it goes 15 seconds before and after that marker to automatically create a clip. So if during the recording, something really funny happened or was a really powerful and inspirational moment, hit that marker button in the recording studio and then you'll be able to get that 30 second clip really fast once you're in the editor. So those are some strategies to use while you record using Riverside. So when you use our text-based editor, it's even faster to grab those clips, full-length episodes, and bonus content for your subscribers. If you'd like to learn more about our text-based editor and all the features of Riverside, subscribe to the channel. And we also have content on the gear to use, how to build a video podcast setup, and a ton more. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you in the next video.